Channel 8 Eyewitness News at 6 in high definition. Good evening, everybody. Thanks for joining us. Rain, thunder, and lightning have hit southern Nevada. And it may not be over. A flash flood warning has expired, but a watch is still in effect, meaning that there may be more rain tonight. Eyewitness News has team coverage. In a minute, Chris Saldana has tips on what to do if your car gets stuck in floodwaters. But first, here's Gina Cancellari to tell us more about the rain. Gina. All right, Paula, I'm going to start off with a look at the radar and show you that we still have rain out there, although right now in the valley, there's a little bit of a break. Here you can see the radar. The first batch of rain that did prompt flood warnings has now moved out of the valley. Now there's another batch of rain that's moving up from the south and that will continue to move into the valley as we head through the rest of the evening. Therefore, a flash flood watch is now in effect. It has been in effect since noon and it will continue as we head through 10 o'clock tonight. This is all thanks to moderate heavy rainfall that is still expected as we head through the remainder of the evening. It will fall in a short period of time and these storms are slow moving storms as well. Here's a look outside right now and you can see that the camera's shaking a little bit every so often with these storms we do get good pushes of wind and there still is some rain falling over the mountains right now some of the clouds are breaking up hence the radar showing a dry spot in the uh, rain right now over the valley but be ready there is more rain on the way we'll take another look at the radar and your full forecast coming up in a little bit paula we'll see you then gina metro's search and rescue team is gearing up for what might be a busy few days because of possible flooding eyewitness news reporter chris saldana continues our team coverage he's at flamingo and valley view chris what should people do if they get stranded in their car. First, they should call police no matter what. 911 is always the number to call if they are stranded. Metro's search and rescue team are on standby right now. With weather like this, they are expected to be working overtime in case they need to rescue people from flooding. So this is the hoist that we use. Uh, we'd end up hooking onto this. We have a harness that we wear. We'd hook onto that. This will extend out. Um, up over the David uh, Van the Buskirk has been with Metro for eight years. Every day he makes sure that Huey, as they call it, or a helicopter is ready for any type of search and rescue. But when the weather is stormy like it has been these last few days, he knows a lot of their time may be focused on rescuing stranded drivers. In 2003, this team worked for hours trying to pull drivers to safety. Officer Van Buskirk says drivers often think they can they should get on the top of their cars, but he says the best thing to do is stay put inside your car. If we arrive into the area and locate the vehicle and we can't see them either inside of it or around the vehicle, uh, most of the time you'll assume the worst that either the person got swept away in the water. If a person happens to get swept away by the floods, Officer Van Buskirk suggests they swim at an angle from the current, not with the current. Now, so far, it's been a pretty quiet day, a pretty quiet few days for the search and rescue team for Metro, but they say they are not going to be on, on their easy, to, they're not going to let up anytime soon because until the weather clears up and the skies clears up, then that's when they can actually maybe take a break from being on standby. Reporting live, Chris Saldana, Channel 8 Eyewitness News. Good advice, Chris. Thank you very much.